In this video, we're looking at question 2E from tutorial 5 in outcome 2 of the course notes for engineering math 3. So this, um, again, is an example of an expression we can't directly integrate. So we're going to have to use one of our techniques um, for partial fractions in order to find an expression we can integrate. And the first thing we should observe is that the degree or the power of the highest x term on the numerator is greater than that denominator. And when we have a power that's greater than or equal to the power of the denominator, it means we have to first deal with uh, an improper fraction. So we're going to do a division uh, here um, in order to simplify this, and then we'll deal with whatever else follows through from that. So it means that we're going to start off by dividing our numerator by denominator using this form of long division, which we use um, for this type of expression. We have x squared plus 3x, and that is dividing 5x cubed plus 15x squared plus x minus 6. Now, there's no missing terms of no powers we don't have, so I have to leave any spaces for those. So the first thing we consider is what is 5x cubed divided by x squared? So what's the leading term um, of our numerator divided by our denominator? So we've got 5x cubed divided by x squared, and that's going to be 5x. So that means on the top of our division here, we can place 5x, and to find the um, term we're going to subtract through by here to be the next term we're dividing. We multiply 5x by x squared plus 3x, and that gives us 5x cubed plus 15x um, squared. So that's what we write in here. We've got 5x cubed plus 15x squared. Um, and we can subtract through. That's what we do here. And we see that not only do the x cubed terms cancel, which I should expect, but the x squared terms cancel as well, and we're left with x minus 6. And at this point, we have an expression now where the um, power of the remaining term is less than the, than the expression we're dividing by. So x minus 6 is a lower degree than x squared plus 3x. So we've actually simplified this as far as we can with the long division here. So what we've got so far, let's write out our expression so far, is that we've shown that 5x cubed plus 15x squared plus x minus 6 over x squared plus 3x is, and I'll move this over to the left a bit. We've got an infinite whiteboard, there's no need to run out of space. is equal to 5x plus x minus 6 divided by x squared plus 3x. Now this x minus 6 over x squared plus 3x is something else that we can deal with quite handily. And we're just going to be careful to always keep track of our working here. So we're going to start another section down here looking at what x minus 6 over x squared plus 3x is equal to. Well, this is a, 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 a normal partial fraction because we've got x minus 6, and we can factorize the bottom into x, x plus 3. And we have two linear factors on the bottom. So we can write this is the case of a over x plus b over x plus 3. We do that before we multiply both sides by x times x plus 3, we have x minus 6 is equal to a x plus 3 plus b x. And then we put in some values um, of our roots of x squared plus 3x, and we'll get values for a and b. So start with x is equal to 0, while well, minus 6 is equal to 3a plus 0. So a is equal to minus 2. And we put in x is equal to minus 3, and we're going to have minus nine, because minus three minus six is minus nine, is equal to a times zero 
minus 3b and so we're going to have b is equal to 3. So what we can say is this expression here is equal to minus 2 over x plus 3 over x plus 3 and we can substitute that we can substitute that back into our expression here this is this here came from here where the red is so we can take this new term substitute that in for here so you can have I'll move this over just a little bit. There we go, give ourselves some more room. Extend that arrow across. We can substitute in for this term and say that this expression is equal to 5x minus 2 over x plus 3 over x plus 3. Um, Take a deep breath because we'll see what we actually wanted to do with this. So this expression that we've just found um, uh, in uh, partial fractions is the expression that we want to integrate up here. So this new expression we found, 5x minus 2 over x plus 3 over x plus 3, that is the same as that expression we wanted to integrate. So now we're going to do our integration of this new term we found. So the integration was between the limits of 3 and 1. We'll put in our new terms, 5x minus 2 over x plus 3 over x plus 3 dx. And then we can integrate each term. And we just use a standard table of integrals for this. So um, and again, when we integrate any uh, constant multiples, the 5, the 2, and the 3 remain, and we deal with the function they're multiplying by. So x, when integrated, becomes x squared divided by 2. So we increase the power by 1 and then divide by the new power. So we have 5x squared divided by 2. Minus 2, 1 over the integral 1 over x is log x plus 3. And the integral of um, a term involving x plus anything is going to be log of whatever's in the brackets. And then we divide by any number multiplied in front of the x, but it's 1x plus 3 here, so it just becomes log x plus 3. And so that is our um, terms integrated, but we keep our square brackets, so we can put in our um, numbers here of 3 and 1, and then we can put our numbers into the question as well. So let's have a look at this. Now, we're going to just our numbers directly and we're not going to bother combining our log terms here because they're multiplied by different numbers and, and in the end we're looking to actually put numbers and calculate a value for this answer so let's see what we get so we're going to have 5 times 3 squared over 2 minus 2 times the log of 3 plus 3 times the log of x, 3 plus 3 log 6 and that's going to be subtracted from um, 5 times 1 squared divided by 2 um, minus 2 times log 1. And we all know what log 1 is, don't we? It's not going to give us anything at all. Log 1 is 0, so that's going to be a 0 term plus 3 times the log of uh, 1 plus 3 is 4. Now, we've got the option of, of simplifying this here, but... I'm going to save some time and just enter all of this into the calculator. But before we do, it's probably worth doing it. Just a little bit of tidying up with our minus signs. We don't want to end up adding and subtracting the wrong terms. So what we have here is, well, 3 squared is 9, and 5 times 9 is 45. So we've got 45 over 2, minus 2, log 3, plus 3, log 6, minus 5 times 1 squared is 5 over 2. Two. Our, our log one term is nothing. Log one is zero, so two times zero is zero. Then we've got minus three log four, so minus three log four here. And there is further simplification we can do, but I think we should leave it at that and put these into our calculator. So forty five divided by two, minus two log three plus three log six. 
minus 5 divided by 2 minus 3 times log 4 gives us an answer of 19.02, again, two decimal places as we have in the course note answers. And that is the answer to question two, part E from tutorial five in learning outcome two. So a few different steps we had to look through there. We had to deal with our improper fraction and that gave us our five X plus X minus six over X squared plus three X. So we had to do a further partial fraction to um, split that down into terms we could integrate. But once we had done, we had this term here, which I'll circle in blue, this was our, our final term. And that was something that we could integrate each of those three terms. They can all integrate using the standard table of integrals. And that's what we did in the second part of the question, we worked out the integrals for those. And then we put in the upper and lower limits and we calculated the value, two decimal places of 19.02.